China was traditionally a rural nation, but it's predicted that by 2030, China's cities will be home to one in eight people on the planet. Here we go. Chongqing. Yeah. This country has undergone an economic transformation at 10 times the speed of the original Industrial Revolution. In the center of Chongqing is the People's Liberation Square, renamed to celebrate the communist conquest of the area. Look at this. Ironically, it's now home to a roll call of international luxury brands. I'm a bit taken aback, frankly. Is this the new Chinese dream, Lili? Consumerism, buy stuff, have a new handbag. That's a, of course, that's a trend in fashion, especially for pe when people get richer than before and they want to have such kind of uh, products, just like uh, international products. It means something to them, like the social status. Consumerism, it's almost an ideology, isn't it? I don't think just necessarily here. Well, before, China used to be very poor and we didn't even have enough food to eat. So you may imagine when people get rich, of course, the first thing they want to eat food and wear good things. It's really interesting because, of course, yeah. it's so easy to forget that in living memory, this country was, has suffered famine. Yeah, but at the very, very beginning, you have to have money to buy food, to buy a house. But later on, you need to find what really means important to you. That's what I think. There are more than 300 million middle-class Chinese now. They're the world's biggest consumers of luxury goods. But it seems that even many of those who've obtained at least a degree of material wealth want more meaning in their lives than just the chance to go shopping. Tens of millions are turning to religious faiths. Near the center of Chongqing, not far from the Yangtze, a Buddhist temple stands proud among the skyscrapers and shopping malls. It's a bit hemmed in, this temple, isn't it? There's been a temple here for nearly a thousand years. Surrounded Amazing. by skyscrapers. Actually, it looks fairly popular. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It's quite the, um, the oasis, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Very tranquil. This is a big happy Buddha. Although China is officially an atheist country, Surveys suggest up to 85% of people here believe in something, either spiritual or religious. First, we can light this candle. Light the candle. Uh-huh. According to a Buddhas, to light the candle means light the candle of your heart. Make your heart bright, and the bright can go to everywhere, especially the dark place. And then you can bring the light to other people and the world. That's the meaning. Will you pray? What do you pray for, Lily? I pray for three things. The first, for my parents. The second, for, for all the people, for the world. And the third one is for myself. <laughs> Family, planet and self. I'll go for that. As China's economy has grown, so has the damage the country is doing to the environment. When it comes to pollution, China is one of the world's worst offenders. And many people believe it will take more than just prayers to save the planet. <laughs> 